Hi, this is Yo Guy with more tech. Today we're going to talk about diffusion filters, the autotune of visual media and modern content creation. My reference is going to be the Black Pro Mist from Tiffin and two other Tiffin filters that are more subtle. Black FX filter and the Glimmer Glass filter from Tiffin. The Tiffin Glimmer Glass is a bit more subtle in blooming the highlights also gives a different kind of diffusion, a more white diffusion than the Black Pro Mist. It lifts the shadows a bit more, <laughs> where the Black Pro Mist tries to keep the shadows more black. The Black FX filter keeps the shadows black too, but have nearly no halation on the highlights. These three filters are going to be my reference going forward when comparing to other brands. I'm going to start with the mildest strengths of the filters and have them side by side so you can compare. As you see, the halation of the Black Pro Mist filter is stronger than the two other filters, with the Glimmer Glass being a bit more subtle and the Black Diffusion having nearly no halation. The Black Pro Mist 1 8 is a reference and I would personally never go higher than this on a Diffusion filter. I would always go more subtle if I had the chance. I would choose milder diffusion filters than the Black Pro Mist. Lastly, I'm going to compare the mildest Pro Mist with the strongest Glimmer Glass and the strongest Black Diffusion FX. As you see, even on the strongest Black Diffusion FX filter, the blooming is minimal, while the Glimmer Glass kind of takes the lead on blooming compared to the Black Pro Mist, but not by much. So if you think the Black Pro Mist blooms too much, I would go with the lower class Glimmer glass filters, or if you want the blooming to be bare minimum, you can go with the Black Diffusion FX filter. Other brands on the market could be the Freewheel or the Cinebloom filters. Here we can compare them with the Glimmer glass and the Black Pro Mist, a quick comparison with seven filters side by side. The last filter I'm going to show you is the one I use for general use on all my lenses. There are still things I wish it could. could do better, but uh, the KNF 1 8 kind of checks all the marks I want a diffusion filter to check. As you'll see here in my comparison with the Glimmer Glass, it comes very close to a Glimmer Glass 1, whereas if you jump to a 1 4th strength, it'll do a significant jump in contrast loss and halation uh, compared to a Tiffin filter's smaller increments. And I would never go higher than the 1 8th on the KNF filter. But here I'll show you that it compares very close to the Glimmer Glass one. It keeps a bit more contrast and crosses the blacks a bit less. And maybe it has a little more halation than the Glimmer Glass one. Here showing a table lamp, you see that the contrast is actually a bit better on the KNF 1 8th filter than on the Glimmer Glass one. But showing this uh, neon pipe, you can see that the halation is about the same, maybe a bit more on the KNF 1 8th. And the 1 4th KNF, the halation is much stronger. And the jump in halation and loss of contrast is huge. Here are some picture examples of the KNF filters where it shines. And especially on these small sensor cameras like the LX100, these filters take away the digital look and make them nearly look as old film cameras as you see in this picture. Other examples from the little Canon M100 and then again on my Sony cameras. If I could choose freely from the properties of this filter, I would have liked the halation to be even more subtle because some lenses that flare and ghosts a lot can make the halation even stronger and sometimes make the pictures almost unusable, even on these diffusion filters with mild effects. But overall, based on price availability, I would still recommend this KNF 1 8 filter. Bye from the old guy.